Hey everyone, just had a pretty big storm here. Like lightning and thunder. You'll probably still hear a little bit of it. But uh, we've had quite a bit of rain come down in a very short period of time. So it's gonna do two things. It's gonna mean we're gonna have a lot of water, but it also means there's gonna be a lot of leaves and sticks and things because it's all come very quickly and, and uh, washed everything out. So uh, it's really gonna be a really good test for the intake. You see we've got quite a bit of water. So yeah, I thought I'd just uh, run up there now. The hydro is on full and we'll see how it's dealing with the uh, sediment and leaves and things and sticks that are coming down. Right, let's go and have a look. Okay, so I haven't, uh, haven't been up to it yet, just uh, approaching it now. And it looks to be like it's working very well. So you can see there's a lot of leaf material and stuff flowing down. This isn't a lot of flow by the way. Um, it's just a small amount really comparative to what we'll have in the winter but it's uh, quite a lot of flow for this time of year. So let's see how we're doing on the screen. Let's see, so it does seem to be, those sharp edges seem to be grabbing a little bit of sediment there, uh, but we are at full flow. You see, we are grabbing the odd leaf, um, but considering how much has come down here, I think it is shedding the leaves quite well. You see the odd one gets caught and then it can't remove it. See that one's sort of stuck on there. Um, it gets caught in between. Uh, but mostly they they flow right past because otherwise uh, we wouldn't have really um, any flow at all getting through there. Uh, let's throw some leaves in, I'll show you. Right. Leaves and sticks and stuff. See how it reacts now, we've got a good volume of water. Let's see how it deals with this big clump. See how it sheds most of the material? Some gets caught, no doubt, There's, you're never going to stop that, I don't think, but you know, it's shedding most of the material. And a lot of the problems with the bolts and everything aren't really problems anymore now that we've got more flow. You know, it is getting blocked. There are improvements to be made for sure. But I thought I would uh, quickly show what it looks like with a proper amount of flow. This is more like the sort of flow we're going to have in the winter. So there has been so many comments about um, having some kind of flotation skimming device across here. That I, ha I really need to address it because it's been one of the most popular suggestions. I've answered it a few times in the comments as to why I don't think that's a good idea. But I think I should address it in this video. Um, the reason being is those things, they are something that's used in like um, commercial industry and for, for dams and things. But they're generally used on slow, large bodies of water where like a, a large stick or a log or something could come along, which would be very bad for an intake. Well, I think I had a dirty lens, but yeah. So the, um, uh, where the water moves slowly. Now this is moving slowly now, but it won't be moving slowly at many points during the winter. The enemy of this intake is not logs. This is a tiny little stream. There's no logs going to be flowing down here. There's not even going to be really sticks, to be honest. Tiny little ones, but nothing of any significance coming down there. Um, so the enemy of that blockages is tiny little microscopic bits of algae and leaves. They're the thing that's going to block it. Now, one of those skimmers will stop leaves and things. It won't stop the tiny little bit of algae there suspended in the water. So that, that's not going to help that at all. Floating leaves, it will bunch them up behind the uh, flotation device, the skimmer. It will bunch them up behind it until there's a large amount of rain. And then that rain will come along and the force of the water will push those leaves under, suspend them in the water, and then they'll end up going down the intake anyway. So it's far better for something like this to shed those leaves and that material one leaf by one leaf, you know, as they come along, design the intake so it sheds them properly as opposed to building them all up. We get a load of rain, the stream goes into flood and it pushes all that material down in once, completely blocks the intake, blocks the stream, it blocks the dam, water goes over the dam, comes down the footpaths, you know, just it's just storing up material that we don't want. It's far better to design the intake so it can shed it as it comes along because it's small material. Those things are really designed for big material. Okay, hope that answered that question. So I thought I'd just show you something cool that I've got set up now. 
it's um so here, this here this is the hydroelectric page so, so this is the hydroelectric power coming in currently we're getting 350 watts out of it it's not turned all the way up because the battery's nearly full uh, this is the voltage off the turbine um uh, it's the current off the turbine uh, it's the battery volts 27.2 and battery current on the next page now i've added a um a current uh, sensing shunt which is now sensing the entire current from all of the hydro the solar the wind and everything so this is what we're currently pulling in at the moment it's early in the morning so we're not getting any solar so we're getting a couple of hundred watts off the um wind turbine as you can see it's changing um but that is making calculations now and telling me my battery percentage based on the uh, amp hour um of the batteries so that's good i've got another level of control now and i can see what's going on so this is our total power coming in this morning obviously when the solar comes out uh, or if the sun came out that would go up by a couple of thousand watts in peak sun so yeah lots of power um on the next page uh, that's consumption so i'm currently uh, putting in 200 odd watts more than i'm using um that's how much energy we've had today so far um that's the total since the last time it was reset, nearly a megawatt. Um, that's the amp hour, readings of the battery, some tables. Um, what I wanted to show you is temperatures. What I wanted to show you was a uh, day log chart. There we go. Uh, just to show you that it has been on for a while now, all these days consecutively. It hasn't been on high because, um, because we've had so much wind coming in. I've had to turn it down. But you can see it has been on for all of those days and I didn't check it for the last three days didn't clean it or anything and that was during that storm so yeah I thought I'd just show you that now let's uh, go up to the intake and see how we're doing right just coming up on the intake now it's just started chucking it down uh, looks quite amazing actually let's have a look I'll show you I haven't cleaned this in uh, over three days and there's been a storm during that time a big storm storm Ellen 70 mile an hour winds let's have a look at the intake that is really good because that's still running it doesn't even need cleaning yet uh, I'm gonna clean it now because I've done the test I wanted to do um, because three days is plenty sufficient for uh, for the time you know as long as it runs for 24 hours really that's sufficient for me because I can come up and, and clean it in the morning uh, but three days is more than more than enough uh, we have got that issue with some getting stuck again still um, you see that they're actually stuck in the gap and so are those some of them have just got some suction on them or caught behind another one like that one's just got some suction and others you see that yeah i mean these are these are green fresh leaves these came off in the storm see um yeah i'm really pleased three days is a long time during a storm and it wasn't like a small storm either you know 70 mile an hour winds it's a serious storm I don't even need to go over the top cleaning this because we know that it will be fine. Just give it a little brush. There we go. That'll do. We can run it all day now. Loads of water there too. Yeah, so there we go. That was a real success. Um, a proper test there. Those are quite normal flows for the winter. And also we get quite a few name storms every winter. Um, and during storms like that, that's when you want power, you know. Um, everyone else's power is going out and I end up with more power than I can use during those times. So very, very, very fortunate to be in that position. But um, yeah, intake's working great. Now, it's definitely not perfect. Uh, Bjorn's experimenting with different designs for easier mounting where they interlock into each other and with some different plastics that are a bit more rigid and printing them as one whole panel as opposed to um, adjustable sides uh, sorry uh, sides that um, are separate with that are screwed um, and he's also um, what's he doing he's also chain experimenting with the angles and stuff so once he comes up with a design that he's happy with and he thinks it's worth sending to me for testing he's gonna send it over to me we'll fit them we'll have a go but honestly that is 20 times better already than anything I've had here previously working uh, 
hundreds of times better than the first intake, the wooden box one. Um, and then it's probably 20 times better than the mesh because the mesh would block up in 24 hours and, and that was three days in a storm and, uh, and it wasn't even really showing signs of slowing down. It was fine, there was still flowing plenty of water. So yeah, really pleased. Just going to the shed because I've got something else to show you. We had uh, these strong winds and I got a new peak output on the wind turbine. Okay, so uh, just in the shed, looking at the wind turbine. So down in the bottom right corner is the current output of it. Obviously the wind's died down now, so uh, it's not putting out a lot. But in the uh, bottom left corner, you'll see it scroll through a few different things. And Watt's peak, that is WP, 1255 watts that is our new uh, peak output yeah so unfortunately the kilowatt hours on this reset all the time uh, every time it gets to a kilowatt hour for some reason but uh, the watts peak doesn't but yeah we saw 1255 watts come off the wind turbine you can see it's making quite good power even today even though the winds have died down yeah thought I'd just show you that quickly so that is gonna be it for this video I haven't got a lot done this week other than uh, monitoring that. Well, I have actually, but nothing for video. Head gasket went on the tractor, I had to sort that out. I had to do some repairs in the van. Um, we had the big storm. I had to go and collect materials. And I've started the greenhouse foundation, but you know, I haven't got enough done on it yet for a video. So that's all for this week, but we will have some cool videos coming soon because I've got something exciting to show you about the, um, the greenhouse foundation. We uh, discovered a spring in the middle of it. So it's quite cool. Right. Almost forgot there for a second. A few people asked about if they can have the file for uh, printing the intake screens. And yeah, Bjorn's happy to do that. He's, he doesn't consider the design finalized or anything. It's gonna be changing again uh, still, but he's happy to share the, um, the file. So that'll be down in the description. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.